Have you ever wondered if there exists a world beyond ours? A world filled with specters and spirits, shadows that lurk in the corners of our eyes? These fleeting apparitions, these spectral figures that dance on the periphery of our vision, they've been a part of human culture since time immemorial. From the ancient Egyptians with their belief in Ka, the spirit double, to the Japanese Yurei, unsettled spirits stuck in our realm, to the Western world's tales of restless phantoms haunting the living, our world is indeed filled with tales of the paranormal. These stories, these experiences, they're not confined to any one place. They span across continents, cultures and centuries, weaving a tapestry of the inexplicable, the eerie, the downright chilling, and some places, some cities, they seem to be hotspots of these spectral activities. So, are you ready to step into the shadows, to tread the line that separates the living from the dead? Join us on this chilling journey as we explore the eerie streets and haunted corners of the world's most spectre-infested cities. Our first stop is the historic city of Edinburgh, Scotland, steeped in tales of the supernatural. Edinburgh, a city where the cobblestone streets echo with the weight of centuries, is a place where the past is so entwined with the present that it's hard to tell where one ends and the other begins. It's a city that has seen plague, war and countless revolutions, and with such a tumultuous history, it's no wonder that it's considered one of the most haunted cities in the world. Edinburgh Castle, which looms over the city from its perch on Castle Rock is a beacon of spectral activity. From the dungeons to the royal apartments, the castle is said to be home to a host of specters. Visitors often report the sound of phantom drums believed to be the ghost of a headless drummer boy who was first sighted before Oliver Cromwell's attack in the 17th century. Not far from the castle, deep beneath the city's royal mile lies Mary King's Close. This hidden warren of streets and houses sealed off from the world for centuries has its own grim history. It was here that victims of the Black Death were reportedly walled up alive in a desperate bid to contain the disease. Today, visitors to the close often speak of feeling a chill in the air, of seeing shadowy figures out of the corner of their eye, and of hearing the faint sound of children's laughter echoing through the eerie silence. Edinburgh, with its ancient history and bone-chilling tales, is a city where the line between the living and the dead seems to blur. Whether it's the ghostly piper who haunts the castle's ramparts, or the spectral figures that wander Mary King's Close, there's no denying that the city is steeped in the supernatural. In the dim light of the city can you hear the whispers of the ancient shadows? Next we venture to the spectral south, to the city of New Orleans, Louisiana, a city celebrated for its vibrant culture, lively music and mouth-watering cuisine, but beneath its festive facade New Orleans harbors a darker side, one that is steeped in ghostly tales and eerie legends. It's this unique blend of cultures, this mix of French, African and American influences that has given birth to a rich tapestry of supernatural stories. Each culture has contributed its own specters to the city's paranormal pantheon, resulting in a hauntingly diverse collection of ghostly inhabitants. Take for instance the infamous La Lori Mansion, a grand house of horrors nestled in the heart of the French Quarter. It's here that Madame La Lori, a high society matron, is said to have committed unspeakable atrocities against her slaves in the early 19th century. Today the mansion is said to be haunted by the tortured souls of her victims. Many have reported hearing their cries of anguish echoing through the halls, a chilling reminder of the city's dark past. But the LaLaurie Mansion is just one of many haunted locations in New Orleans. The city is peppered with spectral hotspots, each with its own spine-tingling tale to tell. Another such place is the St. Louis Cemetery. With its labyrinth of tombs and mausoleums, this centuries-old burial ground is said to be the final resting place of the notorious voodoo queen, Marie Laveau. Legend has it that her spirit still roams the cemetery, and some even claim to have seen her ghostly figure wandering amidst the tombstones. From the eerie whispers of the LaLaurie Mansion to the spectral sightings at the St. Louis Cemetery, the ghost tales of New Orleans are as diverse and vibrant as the city itself. And as we delve deeper into these chilling narratives, one can't help but wonder about the thin veil that separates the living from the dead. In the heart of the spectral South, can you feel the chill of the ghostly presence? We now descend into the chilling catacombs of Paris, France. Beneath the city of love and lights lies a somber labyrinth of tunnels, a stark contrast to the vibrant life above. This is the Paris Catacombs, an eerie underworld and the final resting place for millions of souls. A city within a city, these catacombs were originally limestone quarries, 
But as Parisian graveyards began to overflow in the late 18th century, a decision was made. The bones of the departed were transferred here, creating a macabre subterranean ossuary. As we delve deeper into this chilling maze, we encounter walls adorned with skulls and bones, assembled with an unsettling precision. A grim reminder of the transience of life, these catacombs house the remains of millions, each with their own untold story. And with such a vast number of souls residing here, it's no wonder that many have reported strange occurrences and ghostly encounters. Whispers in the silence, shadows flickering in the corner of your eye, a feeling of being watched. These are common experiences for those brave enough to traverse these dark corridors. Some claim to have seen apparitions, eerie figures that vanish as quickly as they appear, while others speak of a chilling touch, a spectral hand reaching out from the eternal darkness. Beyond the catacombs, Paris is a city steeped in history and haunted tales. Take the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral, for instance. This Gothic masterpiece is not just a symbol of Paris, but also a hotspot for paranormal activity. Stories abound of shadowy figures and spectral monks, their ghostly chants echoing in the hallowed halls long after the last prayer has been said. Whether it's the catacombs, cold, bone-lined passages, or the haunted halls of Notre Dame, Paris offers a chilling journey into the unknown. It's a city where the past refuses to rest, where every stone and skull has a story to tell. In the depths of the catacombs, can you sense the chill of the eternal silence? We now ascend to the spectral castles of Prague, Czech Republic. Nestled in the heart of Europe, Prague is a city steeped in history and legend. Its castles, which have stood for centuries, are shrouded in tales of the supernatural, making them a magnet for those intrigued by the paranormal. Prague's unique history is a tapestry woven with threads of the mystical and the macabre. The city has been a crossroads of cultures and civilizations, each leaving its indelible mark on the landscape and lore. These layers of history have imbued Prague with a spectral aura, particularly within its ancient castles. Among these, Prague Castle holds a prominent place. Dating back to the 9th century, it is not only the largest ancient castle in the world but also a hotbed of paranormal activity. Stories of ghostly apparitions and eerie sounds abound. There's the tale of the non-existent 13th window, from which a defenestrated king's daughter is said to still wail, or the legend of the spectral Turk, a headless apparition riding a horse, a chilling reminder of the Ottoman Empire's presence in the region. Then there's the Charles Bridge, a historic stone bridge that has seen countless feet tread its cobblestones. Here, the specter of the legendary John of Nepomuk, thrown off the bridge in the 14th century, is said to wander, a silent guardian over the Vltava River. Prague's castles and bridges are not mere architectural marvels, they are silent witnesses to the city's turbulent past. Each stone, each turret, each archway, resonates with stories, some of which have transcended the boundary of life and death. These spectral tales steeped in history lend a hauntingly beautiful ambiance to Prague, making it a must-visit for anyone seeking a brush with the paranormal. In the spectral castles of Prague can you see the shadows of the past? Our final stop is the mysterious streets of Savannah, Georgia. Steeped in history, Savannah is a city where the past lingers in every shadowy corner. Its centuries-old plantations whisper tales of betrayal and tragedy, their ghostly inhabitants seemingly frozen in time. The city's spectral residents are not confined to these grand old houses though. The Bonaventure Cemetery for instance is a place where beauty and eeriness intertwine. Underneath the Spanish moss-draped trees it's said that figures from the other side roam freely, their stories etched into the weathered tombstones. Another renowned location, the Sorrel Weed House, is a hotbed of paranormal activity. Here, countless visitors have reported strange occurrences, inexplicable sounds, sudden drops in temperature and even apparitions. These are but a few of the haunted places that make up the tapestry of Savannah's mysterious streets. As we tread lightly on their cobblestones one question lingers. On the mysterious streets of Savannah can you feel the touch of the unseen? From the ancient shadows of Edinburgh to the spectral south of New Orleans, the chilling catacombs of Paris to the spectral castles of Prague, and the mysterious streets of Savannah, we have journeyed through the most haunted cities in the world. Each city has its own chilling tales that echo through time, whispering of specters and the supernatural. In Edinburgh, the tale of the restless spirits in Mary King's Close sends shivers down the spine. Stories of plague victims walled up alive, their anguished cries echoing through the centuries have become as much a part of the city as its ancient stones. Then there's New Orleans, 
with its unsettling tales of voodoo and apparitions, the Lalori Mansion, infamous for its tales of cruelty and suffering, is said to be haunted by the spirits of those who met their end there, their anguished wails echoing through the southern night. In the chilling catacombs of Paris, the story of the lost man is as haunting as the skeletal remains that line its walls. Legend tells of a man who ventured into the catacombs never to return. Some say his ghost still wanders the tunnels, lost for all eternity. Prague too has its spectral stories. The headless horseman of Prague Castle, a fallen knight who roams the grounds, searching for his lost head. His spectral figure, seen riding at night, is a chilling sight that has become a legend in this ancient city. And finally Savannah, a city where every cobblestone street and grand old mansion has a ghost story to tell. The chilling tale of the Sorrel Weed House, where apparitions have been seen and disembodied voices heard, adds to the city's haunted reputation. Whether you believe or not, these tales remind us that there are still mysteries in this world that remain unexplained. So, the next time you walk down a quiet street at night, remember, you might not be as alone as you think.